Hi guys, it's me, and I am really zipping around this morning. I drank coffee, and if any of you know me and love me, you know that I love tea, green tea, black tea, any kind of tea, and I just decided to start drinking coffee today, so, like, wow, totally awake and going crazy. Went to the mall, got some accessories for my daughter because she's going to be in a pageant and I cannot wait. I'm so excited. So today I'm here. I got a request from my cousin's girlfriend. Hi, Tracy. Um, she wanted to know about blending eyeshadow underneath your eye. So I figured I'd give you guys some tips. Tip number one, first of all, when you get eyeshadow, you know how they come with these um, little, these things suck and they're, they're stupid and pointless. You might as well give them to a child to play with their dollies. Um, every once in a while, I keep one around just for like, you know, going like that. Adding a little highlight right there. Um, but if you're talking about under eye, what you need is not that, it's for this. In fact, I used this today. One of these. So, tip number two would be use something sticky. The powder isn't going to stick. If you want the powder to stick, put foundation or like BB cream or something, not just a powdery foundation. Use that first so it sticks. Um, what I used today is Color Tattoo. Heel. So this actually blends really good. So if you're going to do something like this, you know, you can just put a little bit more on there. Um, if you're going to use some shadow for under your eye, you want to start out, pick something easy. Like this is like really kind of jelly and sticky. So it works well. I, I really like this color tattoo stuff. Um, I have three different shades, and I'm hoping I can find this jelly six sticky stuff in um, actually black because I have the shadows and they're like more powdery, but this stuff is the bomb. Anything that's easy to apply is definitely something I like. So. We'll give another little demo here. I got this, my Pookie got me this Halloween stuff. Um, I was a little disappointed in this though, however, look and see how it appears to be glittery, but then when you rub it, it's like not anymore. So just so you guys know, if you're gonna go out and get this, the only thing that's glittery is the very top layer, which, I don't really care for. I thought, you know, the whole thing was going to be glittery. So you just, you know, you kind of look up, you're kind of looking at yourself and you just got to be careful. If you use the shadowy stuff, the powdery stuff, you might have like little specks down there and, you know, then you're going to have to wipe it up. And then if you're using something and it gets on your lashes, just put extra mascara. Always make sure you put the mascara below as well as above for a more eye-popping look. And I think that was about it. Try out some lip gloss. Orange. This is another... Um, brand I really like, War Paint Beauty. You can get this at Hot Topic. Usually it's pretty cheap as well. Um, I 
this is a nice bold look for fall. So yeah, I'm actually feeling a lot better than I have been lately. Um, I've been on some medications that were making me fat. You can't have that. So now I'm working out just like extra, extra hard. How about some Shine Blast for over these lips? And then what I'm probably gonna do is get back in the kitchen. I'm baking some banana bread for my man. Just did all the dishes, got the babies napping. This stuff smells so freaking good, I could eat it. Mmm. Gold shimmer, teal shimmer on my eyes. Why well, I'm unstoppable today. I'm just unstoppable. So, thank you for watching and have a great day.